Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on, left on. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. And you, and you. So let's all praise the Lord right on, left on, right foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you, and you, and you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you, and you, and you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Chin up, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. And you and you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, chin up, turn around. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. And you and you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm excited you could be here with us this morning. I want you to remember that we miss you. We can't wait to see you again. But until then, we're going to have a wonderful puppet show for you. We're going to be reading God's Word, and we're going to have an exciting time. So why don't you pray with me before we begin? Dear God and Father in heaven, we thank you for another beautiful day. We thank you for this time we can share. Lord, I pray you watch over and bless all the children who are watching this this morning. Father, help us to follow you better and to walk with you all the days of our life. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Christ's name. Amen. All right, kids, here we go. Philippians 4.4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Clap your hands, all ye people, shout to God, Woo! with the voice of triumph. Clap your hands, all ye people, sing for joy unto the Lord. And we're singing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Clap your hands, all ye people, shout to God Woo! with the voice of triumph. Clap your hands, all ye people, sing for joy. Unto the Lord And we're singing hallelujah 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 Jesus Christ is the Lord of all Lord of all the earth Jesus Christ is the Lord of all Lord of all the earth Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Jesus Christ is the Lord of all, Lord of all the earth. Our memory verse for this week is Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall be saved. 
Sunday. So today we have a story about Paul. Paul, can you say hi? Hi. And a captain of a ship. Captain, can you say hi? Hello. And our story is full of adventure and excitement. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the puppet show. Oh no, this wind is so strong, I don't know if I can keep the boat in the middle of the sea. So we won't crash into the land. We sailed very slowly and tried to stop at one place, but the wind blew us to another place. By now our journey had taken longer than it should have. It was late fall and more storms would be coming. It was a dangerous time to travel, so Paul had an idea. Everyone, I think if we go on, we'll be in trouble, so we might shift wet. wet. Those cargo and put our lives in danger. Let's stop here. Since Paul was just a prisoner, we decided not to listen to him. I said we should keep going because we were in the harbor that was a bad place to spend the winter. So we decided to keep going. That's when things got really bad. We pulled up, anchored, and started sailing along the shore again. But then the windy changed into a A typhoon is a really, really bad storm. It was scary. The ship was blown out to sea. The waves were so high. I told the men to get on the lifeboat before the ship crashed. The next day, we set sail again, but the winds and waves were so strong. I told everyone to make the ship lighter by throwing cargo overboard. Be safe. 
but the storm was in fact not over. In fact, the boat was blown so close to shore that when we measured it, the water was only 90 feet deep. It wouldn't be long before we crashed into the rocks. It was night, and with the clouds covering the moon, it was so dark. We prayed for daylight. We also tried to abandon the ship. No, no one get off the boat. If you do, you will die. So we listened, because dying didn't sound like the best option. As the day dawned, Paul told everyone to eat. We hadn't eaten in two weeks, and we were getting weak. Remember, do not worry, because no one will die. God is encouraging, so we encourage others. As the sun rose higher, we saw that the beach and thought maybe we could crash the ship into it. But we hit a pile of rocks underwater and crashed the ship too early. The soldiers wanted to kill the prisoners so they wouldn't swim to shore and escape, but I said no. So everyone swam or held onto a piece of wood from the broken ship and floated safely to shore. God told me his plan to keep everyone safe, and I passed on that encouragement by telling the others on the boat. I want you to think of something encouraging. You know about God, maybe something from the Bible or something you've learned about him. Encourage others by sharing that good news. When we face scary times, like Paul did, it's easy to focus on our fears. But God is always with us. We can turn to him for encouragement. Then we can encourage others by sharing why we trust in God. God is encouraging, so we must encourage others. But they aren't on a classroom book, and God doesn't talk to them like he spoke to me. How can they encourage others? We encourage others by noticing the good things they do. Maybe you could encourage your brother or sister by telling them they are a good artist. Or you could call your grandma and encourage her by say, saying she's a good cook. Maybe she'll make you some of your favorite cookies. Oh no, this, oh I know, they could write a note to their friend or their teacher and tell them something great about them. Great idea, Paul. We challenge you this week to find at least one person to encourage and ask God to encourage you this week. Let's pray to God right now. Please bow with us. God, thank you so much for bringing us together today. Even if, though it's tough, the TV and the computer screen, through the TV and the computer screen, thank you for this lesson about how you encouraged Paul and saved all the people on the boat. Please encourage us as we go through our weeks and finish school at home. Help us to encourage people around us. Open our eyes and our hearts to see the people who need encouragement to help us find the best way to encourage them. Please help us to remember that you love us and you are with us no matter what we are, where we are. It is in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. We love you guys. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. James 1.17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who makes us happy when we're sad? Loves us even when we're bad. Who with his present makes us glad? Nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who was it hung upon a tree? Suffered shame for you and me. Who was it died to make us free? Nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord and Master. Who can do, who can do, who can do anything? Nobody but my Lord.
kids, I hope you've enjoyed this time together this morning. We have sure enjoyed having you. I want to say thank you to our puppeteers and everyone who was involved to make this happen. And again, I want you to know that we love you, we miss you, and we're praying for you. Bye for now.